What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my terrible channel. A lot has happened guys in the I Love You series. Shine runs out to the orange haired dude who has literally passed out on the ground. If you guys have not caught up with the previous I Love You videos then you are missing out. Go watch them right now. There's a playlist on my channel. It's called I Love You. Just watch the videos. We're on episode 5 now. Well technically this is episode 7 of the story but it's the 5th video that I've made. Last time we left off, our heroes were facing quite the tragedy. Orange haired dude who apparently is known actually as Noel, I think is his name. Well, he passed out uh, from the drug that was given in Shinei's drink, which he drank, which she didn't want to drink, which she let him drink, and now he's passed out. They're in a taxi. She's trying to get him home. She called Q-Tip Head. Q-Tip Head's angry as he's eating his tiramisu, and now he's going to go to the hospital. Go check on Noel. Shinei's on her way to the hospital in the taxi. Everything is about to collide, guys, and I am excited to see how it all plays out. So without further ado, guys, let's begin. We're at the Hirahara Memorial Hospital. We're here! Finally. I'll be homebound once I drop this guy off. But wow, this hospital is bigger than I remember. The owners must have expanded it. Again. Jeez, just how much money do they have? <coughs> the cab driver coughs as he tries to get Shinei's attention. So far, that's $50 from the convention center to the hospital. What? What do you mean, what? Fares $50. Did you think I was giving you a ride to the hospital for free? I've got bills to pay, missy. What a ripoff. There is no way that ride was worth $50. Yeah, I know, dude. Seriously, $50. Who she thinks she is? Chelsea Clinton? $50 million? And who do you think you kidnapped Chelsea Clinton? He could have at least dropped us off at the emergency entrance. <laughs> Well, it seems Shinei and Noel finally arrived at the hospital. Noel is still passed out, Shinei in disbelief at the cab fare. How am I supposed to get home now? Yeah, dude, 50 bucks? Man, she must have spent all her money just now. She looks down at Noel. Papa's working at this hour. I, I can't ask him. And he thinks I'm at Maya's house. I should probably just go inside and ask for help. Besides, I can't leave this guy out here like this. What a great night I'm having. I should probably tell Rika I'm at the hospital right now. If that voicemail doesn't freak them out... I'm pretty sure me being at the hospital will do the trick. Hmm. Okay, our little Shine is starting to think. But just then, it appears that a nurse in the background has taken notice to Shine. Um, do you need any help, miss? Is there something wrong with your friend? Actually, yeah. I was just about to bring this guy inside. What happened? I'm not sure. He just passed out. Well, I'm about to go on my break, but I'll call someone out to help you. Respirations and pulse appear to be on the lower side. Did you both come from a party? Yeah, how did you know? I kind of figured looking at the way you're both dressed. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. She's wearing a freaking party dress and he's wearing a mask. Did he have anything to eat or drink? Oh no, dude, she's holding an orange and she thinks that Noel is allergic to oranges. Orange! Yeah! She smacks the orange out of the nurse's hand. What the heck? The orange goes bounce bounce as it flies away after Shinei Karate chopped it out of the nurse's hand. Who, by the way, is still in disbelief at what just happened. What is wrong with you? I can explain. So to your knowledge, he didn't drink anything else? Yeah. And then he ended up this way. Yep, that's why I smacked your orange, because he's allergic. Orange allergy? Hmm. The nurse turns back to Noel, who's still passed out. Honey, I don't think he's got an orange allergy. If anything, someone might have tampered with your drink. Your drink was spiked, hun. Spiked? You don't party too often, do you? Did you at any point set your drink down or turned away from it? I don't think I... <sighs> Just then, Shinei makes the realization. Always keep an eye on your drink when at a party. Flashback. Bump. Shinei remembers when the dude bumped her from behind when she was talking to her friend. And it was at that moment when the two dudes dropped the roofie into her drink. Otherwise, some messed up people will sneak drugs into your drink. You're lucky you weren't alone. Who knows what could have happened to you if it weren't for this young man. She then pulls out her radio. Shh. Hey, could you come out to the outpatient entrance? I need your help. Shh. Aren't you supposed to be on break? Yeah, but I have a patient who needs help out here with me. Shh. All right, fine. Let me just finish what I'm doing right now. Be there in about 10 minutes. Shh. Is that fine? Over and out. Sorry, I always wanted to say that. Actually, she reaches for Noel's mask and then... Come out right now! Huh? Shinny looks a little surprised as the nurse suddenly has a change of heart. Well, not change of heart, but change of mind because now she's like, pronto, get this dude some help. I think the whole entire hospital knows who he is. Huh? Where have I seen that face before? Oh, oh no. An unconscious Noel has just been found out by the hospital staff. Ah! We hear a scream coming back from the Hirahara party. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What if he was a murderer? I don't get paid enough for this shit. 
We should have never ignored her. Girls, calm down. You've been panicking for the last 30 minutes now. You're not going to solve anything like this. What if someone finds her skinned body on some ditch by a highway? It's gonna be all over the news. And it's all our fault. The bartender seems to be growing increasingly impatient with them. Girls! Will you both shut up already? <laughs> both the girls gasp as they are surprised at the bartender's response. Is this how you both handle your problems? By jumping to conclusions and freaking out? Nobody is getting skinned. And nobody is going to get dumped in some ditch. But the murderer... Why didn't you both think about that when you decided to ignore your friend? You brought this on yourselves. I thought you women liked to stick together. Why would you even ditch her? We wanted to enjoy ourselves, but all she wanted to do was go home. We just wanted to try out something new. She never leaves her home. The girls try to explain their side of the story to the bartender. So she ended up not liking it. So you left her alone? You can't expect people to like what you like. And you shouldn't force them to. Did you even try to call her to see how she's doing? Dude, I love how this bartender is just going off on her. Dude, I like this guy. I hope he's a recurring character. And look at the girls' faces, dude. They're just like, mm. their lips are shut because he is shutting them down. Actually, no. We were too freaked out to think straight. I'll call her now. Ugh. I'm getting way too into this. Shinne just sent me a message. She's not dead. Thank God. Oh my gosh, these girls. Is she okay? What did she say? Dude, I love how the bartender is trying to figure out what's going on when the girls are just... Well, yeah, what's wrong with their faces? The message from Shinne reads, I'm at the hospital. Oh, snap, dude. Okay, dude, now they're gonna think that she actually, like, was attacked or something. Wait, 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 back up. What does this message say before? Something, something, heading over to Maya's after I take a dump? What the hell, Shinne, man? That's disgusting. Ugh. No, 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 no. You know what? It's, it's an error, okay? That I don't know. What she meant was she's gonna take a bump, you know, like a bump of cocaine, you know? She's not taking a dump. Girls, don't poop. Come on. The hospital? Maya and Rika begin to go crazy as they realize that their best and closest friend might just be in trouble after all. No, no, no! Oh my god, this can't be real! Ugh. Someone please shoot me. Back at the Hirahara Memorial Hospital, it seems like we're seeing the front staff. I really hope they see my text. It shouldn't take them more than 30 minutes to get here. It seems like Shinne is on a bench waiting to find out what happened. I miss my bed so much. I could always walk home, but this hospital is about 20 miles away from home. That's six miles short of a marathon. Ugh. Why didn't the cab driver choose a closer hospital? Now I'm stuck here with this guy whose jacket I ruined. I can't believe he was being nice to me all night. Why would he be that nice if I ruined his expensive uniform? And on top of that, I also rejected his friend. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Dieter. R.I.P. She thinks for a moment. That bastard. I see what he's trying to do. What? what? Okay, no. Shinne, my girl, you're doing what y you shouldn't do. What you always do, okay? Jumping to conclusions. It was all a setup. Hello there, damsel in distress. What seems to be the problem? Oh, I want to go home, but my friends are ignoring me. Help me. Oh my. I shall ease your burden and pay for your transportation. But why? I'm just a stranger. Because, insert life story here. Blah, 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 blah. Now here, take it. Take my money. How will I ever repay you? I won't ever see you again. Oh, we'll see about that. Toodaloo. As she gets into a taxi and drives off. <laughs> she fell right into my trap. Now I'll follow that cab and find out where she lives so that I can harass her about paying for my uniform for the rest of her life. And also avenge my pal, the German guy. I forgot his name. And that's the end of her imagination. What the heck, dude? Like, even in her imagination, she can't remember Dieter's name? I still can't believe she called him Dieter. Dieter? He's so rich, he has his own dietitian? Like, who does that? Come on. Nice try, Mr. Stalker, but that ain't happening. Ah, jeez, what am I even thinking? And then she overhears some of the staff talking. What do you mean everything is all in order? Why do you ask? His son is on his way right now. Someone saw him at the parking lot, but he came in for an inspection a few days ago. Why would he come here and at this hour, too? You didn't hear? Yonggi was admitted not too long ago. Seriously? What happened? From what the girl sitting over there said, it sounds like he was drugged. The lab is checking for any traces of date rape drugs in his system right now. How is he? You know how worried Kasuke gets whenever something happens to that boy. Thankfully, he's stable for now. Just make sure everything runs smoothly. Huh? Looks like Kusuke was the right person to call after all. It seems like Shinne is realizing that these boys have much more influence than she could have ever imagined. She doesn't even have any thoughts, dude. She's just blank. 
Man, I never did like hospital talks. And then, flashback. It's a blurry image, but it seems that we are in the position of someone in the hospital. The vision becomes clear. A man is passed out, leaning on the bed. We're seeing the patient's point of view. We don't hear anything. It's just a distant memory. Shine scratches her head. She thinks. Today is really turning out to be a poor day. <sighs> just then, we hear her phone ring. She pulls it out. It's from Rika. About damn time. Hello? Rika? Shine knows immediately that it's her friend. Scream with words, please. I can't understand what you're saying. We are so sorry. We'll never drag you out to another party ever again. Are you okay? Are you still at the hospital? What happened? Which hospital are you at? Calm down. I'm fine. I'm at the Hirahara Memorial Hospital. We're on our way. Just hang in there. All right, I'll see you guys when you get here. Beep. She hangs up. Yes. Won't be long until I get home now. Yeah, dude, honestly, like, I feel like we've been at this party scene, like, forever. I'll just rest my eyes while I wait for them to arrive. Today was too exhausting. Sir, there, there is no need to worry. Where is he? Which room? He's unconscious, but he's in no danger. We assigned the best to take care of him. But where is he? Jeez, what's with all the yelling? Shine opens her eyes as she hears two men arguing. Room 327. It's directly in front of that girl over there. She's the one that brought him here. Just then, Shinei's face becomes... Well, look at it. You've gotta be kidding me. Kozuke, wait up. Oh, hey. Oh my gosh, dude, Q-tip. Q-tip's here. Oh my goodness. What's he gonna say? What's he gonna do? How is he gonna react to Shinei? And, and Shinei's being the one who brought him in? I mean, she ruined his suit back at the party. I mean, honestly, dude, like, she ruined his suit and she ruined Noel's suit. Dude, she ruined both their suits. And the last panel... Oh my gosh, yes, dude, they're, f oh my gosh, they're finally coming together. Guys, if you want to read the last panel, be sure to click the link down below in the description to read the full story there. If you guys want to keep following along to see what happens next in the I Love You series, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on my post notifications so you're never late. I update this series pretty frequently, so definitely be sure you're all caught up if you don't want to miss out. Oh man, dude, what a turn of events. I am looking so forward to seeing what happens with Q-Tip, as well as Noel, and just Shine, and seeing how this whole love triangle turns out. Honestly, I, I, I can't tell, like, exactly what kind of person Q-Tip is just yet, but we already kind of have an idea of what Noel is like, and it seems to be that classic, you know, nice guy, do anything for the girl type of character, and Noel kind of, or not Noel, Q-Tip seems to be this kind of rude, you know, annoyed always guy who just has a certain thing that he loves, which is sweets. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how Q-Tip's character opens up and we begin to learn more about him. Guys, let me know, what did you think about this chapter? Big shout out to Kimchi, the original creator, guys. Her link is also down below if you want to check her out. I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised that this is one of the most popular comics on Webtoons. It just pulls you in, man, and I really like how they leave every episode on a cliffhanger. But yeah, guys, that'll about do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Good night.